What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ Prospect Profiles. Today, I'm going to focus in on Jeremy Bracco of the United States National Team Development Program, a 2015 draft eligible uh, forward who will be taking his talents. Well, he's committed to Boston College next year. We'll talk about that one later in the piece. Uh, but I like his game. You know, let's just talk about the kind of player he is. He broke Patrick Kane's single season assist record for the under 17, U.S. under 17 team, uh, with 58 assists in 54 games for the U17 portion of the schedule. Uh, he totaled 37 points in 34 games for the in the uh, U.S. jump portion of the schedule. Definitely a dynamic all-around offensive player. Very shifty with the puck. Um, you know, knows how to facilitate. Has a I think underrated shot. And um, you know, I think I think will be a a guy that really, really, really lights it up this year. You saw the team they had this year with Larkin. Tuck, Milano, um, and obviously Jack Eichel, and um, you know I think they, they they put up a ton of points. They did, I don't think they did, um, and I, I think you know you look for something similar next year uh, with Bracco and guys like that leading the charge. But going back to who he is as a player, he's a playmaker. Uh, he's got a little bit of versatility. Can center, can play on the wing as well, and um, you know I think he's long term. I if he bulks up a little bit. He's listed at 5'9", 155 pounds. I think right now he's about 5'10", buck 60, buck 65. Um, so I, I don't know if he can withstand the pressure of playing center on night and night basis at the pro level. Um, but, you know, I think it's definitely something to experiment with next year with the development team. Um, again, really like his playmaking abilities. You know, those are on display going back to his days with Long Island goals. He's a Freeport, Long Island native. And, um, you know, definitely a um, guy you'll be, uh, you'll be hearing about with um, regards to next year, uh, 2015, committed to BC, was also drafted by the Kitchener Ranges. Why do I say that? Because this past week, along a fellow Long Island native, Sonny Milano, who was also committed to Boston College, and uh, like Milano, he was committed somewhere else before he committed to BC. Bracco was a Harvard commit, and then decommitted in April and committed to uh, to BC. And it's funny, you, you kind of hear whispers, and I got a couple emails from people asking me about, you know, before he committed to BC, if Harvard was in or out of the equation, and um, you know, I, I think a couple big, a few other big name programs in the mix, but you know, going to BC, I think he's in a win-win situation. Um, obviously, Kitchener's in kind of a rebuilding mold, mold in the mode. Damn it, in the OHL, uh, but you know, they, they've obviously you know got a tremendous track record. They're producing quality. T- um, UNHL talent, and so does BC. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, they have one of the best programs, not only college hockey, but in the world, um, at, at really having quality prospects go through there and go and have great success um, at the NHL level. So I think he's in a win-win situation. If I had to bet, I'd say he's at BC next year. But, you know, as we saw at Milano, just because I bet on it doesn't mean it's going to happen because then I'd be a millionaire because every horse I ever bet at Suffolk Downs or Del Mar would, uh, would come in, and I'd be living in a, you know, I'd have a better studio. Um, but bottom line, I like Bracco. I see him going to the top 15 next year. I look for him to have a huge year with the U.S. development team. And uh, stay tuned for more episodes of the Power Play with CJ throughout the offseason and beyond. Later, guys.